Hello everyone, this is the Easy QS channel whereby we help students revise for the exams and today we will be revising on how to do unit rate for roofing. Uh, when you are given a roof and it has tiles, how do you do the unit rate per square meter for the tiles? So welcome to this channel, my name is Naomi and I'll be taking you through the unit rate for roofing. So uh, you'll be given a question like, using the data given, build up a unit rate for size for 20 by 35 millimeters mareba concrete roofing tiles with 75 millimeters end laps and 35 millimeters sand laps laid on 50 millimeters uh, sideless buttons per meter squared. Uh, you know that in a roof, uh, whenever we have the tiles, we usually have buttons. Buttons, they are lines, they are, they are frames that are usually on the roof. Okay, let's for example, imagine this is a gable roof. The, the roof is like this. Okay, let's assume this is just a roof. Uh, it is slopes like this. So we shall be having buttons cruising like this so that we can lay the tiles on them. Uh, you should just Google and see how tiles are laid on buttons on roof. I think that will be uh, easier for you. Then uh, we shall be seeing the, the, the tiles going like this. So uh, in a sample, the tiles will be like this you, uh, so that the water can fall from the roof. So these are buttons which are 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters, they are cypress. Then the concrete roofings, we are told that it has uh, 75 millimeters end laps. So I will assume uh, this, is, this is one uh, concrete tile. If this is one concrete tile, the, co the tiles are usually placed along the length is like this. Uh, if the water slopes like this, uh, in this direction, the tiles must overlap so that to prevent the water from seeping inside the roof. So the, the tiles will overlap on the length side. The, le the longer side will be like this. Then it will overlap to some length like this with the next tile. Then on the next tile it shall overlap. Okay, on this side it should overlap one side. Then the other one shall come and overlap like this. So this overlap on the along the, the longer side of the tile shall be uh, 75 millimeters. Those ones are the ones that we are calling end laps. The, the ones that are overlapping on the side, they are called side laps. And they are that 5 millimeters. Okay, so even as you can see on this diagram, you can see the tiles. We can see it has overlapped. The other tile uh, was starting from below the next tile. This tile will start 75 millimeters before. This one will add 75 millimeter after. I hope you get. Uh, for the tiles, for the side ones, we have said they overlap like this. So, uh, this overlap between this tile and this tile is 35 millimeters. Alright, so we are told the data, Mareba concrete tile, one tile is 70 kibob, and then uh, 50 by 50 Cypress Tiba is 100 shillings per linear meter, nails, they are 120 shillings per kg, uh, skilled labor is 1200 per day, and skilled labor is 500 per day. Of course, when we are doing the unit rate, we are not given all the data that we require. So we shall need to do some assumptions. The assumptions that we shall do here is that the area to be considered is 1 meter squared because the unit rate should be per meter squared. Then the nails should be 0 0.25 kg per meter squared. 1 meter squared of the tiles, we shall use 0 0.25 kg to do the uh, buttons. Okay, labor constraint shall be a gang of one skilled and two unskilled can lay four meters squared in one hour. One hour we do uh, laying of the tiles, four meters squared. A gang of one is one can fix 20 meters uh, buttons in one hour. Then we shall uh, consider a wastage of 5%. So unit rate, just like we have been doing other unit rates, we always take material cost plus labor cost plus overhead plus profit. And if there is plant cost, of course we shall include the plant cost. We shall take material cost plus labor cost plus plant cost. Then the total, we shall add 20% for overhead and profit. Let's start. Uh, the, the, we shall start with the materials. We need to know how many mareba tiles do we require. Then we shall multiply by the price of one tile. Alright, so how many mareba tiles do we require for one meter? One meter is a thousand by a thousand millimeters. So one meter 
we shall take uh, the total area we divide by the effective uh, we shall take we shall divide by the area of one tile the area of one tile we have been told is 420 by 335 so um, for 20 by 335 it's before they overlap but you can see if the tile was like this this is 420 this is 335 then they overlap here 75 so what will be the effective uh, length of this tile it shall be we take 420 we deduct this 75 this one okay for the side it shall be uh, this one is 335 then it has overlapped uh, 35 so what will be the effective width of this tile it shall be 335 minus 35 335 minus 35 so um, for 20 minus 75 we multiply by 335 minus 35 we multiply by this the cost of one tile which is 70 we shall get the total cost of the tiles all right then we go to the cost of buttons uh, the cost of buttons buttons are on the wind side this way they go across the roof so first we shall calculate how how uh, the area the linear meters the linear meters for the buttons because we are told uh, the cypress buttons is a hundred shillings per linear meter one linear how this one the length of one button for this roof how many will they be first of all in one meter one meter area so uh, we shall take the uh -huh, we shall take the to get the buttons we shall take the number of tiles we multiply by the effective length of tile this is the effective actually it's the effective width of the tile okay let me explain where it comes from you see this is the tile the tile is for 20 by 335 and it has an overlap of 35 if we are able to get the size of this tile then we get the size of the other tile this tile the other tile the other tile we shall get the this length here then we portray the, the number of tiles we shall get the length of that button i hope it's making sense if we get the the length of one tile then we multiply by the number of tiles on that width that the, the one spreading across the roof we shall be able to get uh, the length of that uh, the one the length of the button so uh, we we are asking ourselves uh, how many tiles first of all shall be in one meter square of roofing once we get the number of tiles in the roofing then we shall multiply by effective width of this tile so because every tile shall be held on one on the upper part so if we have uh, for example 10 tiles in this one meter squared and each tile is held on the width uh, 335 minus 35 if we multiply by the number of tiles we shall get the total length of the buttons in that area so the area is one meter by one meter the effective uh, width of one tile uh, the effective width of one tail shall be uh, this 335 we deduct 35 this one 335 minus 35 how many tiles will be in one meter squared we shall take one times one we divide by total length minus overlap for 20 minus 75 multiplied by total width minus overlap we get 9.66 9.66 we multiply by uh, the 335 minus 35 because the buttons are only on the upper side the buttons are only across the roof so we shall get uh, the number of buttons then we are told one button is a hundred shillings per linear meter so we shall